What's up guys, welcome to your 108th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create another file. Uh, we have one file called path, but we're going to create another one. And this will be actually from our edit text, so more specific um, way that they're going to save it. So we're just going to create another file and we're going to call this one uh, file name, something like that, or f actual file, something like that. And we're just going to say null to begin with. And then, uh, you know, what was our edit text called? Save file. So now we're just going to, within our actual save button, we're going to um, set this file up e equal to basically our edit text. So we're going to create a string to kind of convert our edit text into a string. So we're going to say string f, I don't know. And. Uh, we're going to get our edit text, which I just looked at and forgot already, called save file dot get text dot to string. Again, kind of just a quick review. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have that file basically equal our path that we set up. And then on top of that, because the path is kind of the folder, it's going to be um, within that folder, we're going to reference basically our edit text as the specific file itself. So a few tutorials ago we set up a few paths which you can kinda of think about as the different folders so like the music folder, uh, the picture folder, and the downloads folder. So we need our file to kinda of reference which folder it is and then which specific path it is. So what we're gonna do here is basically say our file and we'd say equal to new file and we're familiar with you know just a string reference of some sort something like that but we want to also refer to our path so there's another file constructor that we can use that takes two parameters one for basically you can think of the the path or the folder uh, however you guys want to think about it and then for the second parameter the actual specific you know whatever dot jpeg or something like that png so since we're using our you know our F here for actual edit text we're just gonna say F here so that's gonna create a file for us and again our path location with the specific file name from our edit text pretty simple for the most part and now what we want to do is again we're gonna kinda check to make sure we can read and write everything and we've done that up up here um, a few tutorials go with this state we get the state and all that good stuff so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to say uh, create a new method called check state something like that and it's going to say hey I don't know what that is create method and then we're just going to copy all this stuff here or cut it I should say and then paste it within that check state method that we just created which is right here so control V that's going to check everything update both our edit text or our text views and also our boolean values so now what we can do within our save file again is make sure everything's read uh, can read and write so whoops we could either do that or we can just use our method that we just created so we're just going to say check state and that's going to update everything for us and then we're just going to say if you know we can w which is can read uh, equals can write or I'm sorry can write can equals can read equals true we can read and write right and within here is where we're actually going to kind of do everything so before we use file input streams and file output streams but this time since we actually have file a file set up we're just going to use input stream and output stream so what we're going to do is create an input stream or yeah input stream called is equals and we're just going to get a picture uh, we're going to save a picture no matter what path what file path we're using whether it be the music whatever we're going to save a picture to that file so if you guys download the application and use this um, this activity you might want to check your folders and see if there's actually a picture in there. So uh, we're going to do a get resources, which is going to refer to our resource folder. And then we're going to say open raw resources. 
I think we've done this before. And then um, just start whatever we want to save. So R dot drawable dot uh, let's say green ball. So that's our input stream. What we're gonna save. Now we also need to create an output stream. And we're going to call this OS. And we're just going to say new file output stream. And we're going to refer to our file that we set up right here. So we're going to say file. And then we just got to import both our file output stream and our file uh, or and our output stream. And again, we're going to have to surround this with a try and catch. So let's open up our try brackets a little bit more and just throw our input stream in there as well. What we, what we need to do again is set up a byte array that's going to kind of read all of our data for us. So we're just going to, you know, set up a byte array, call it data, and this is going to be equal to new byte array. And within the parameter, uh, we're going to give it our input stream. And we just say dot available again. So nothing too new there. And it says we just need to add a catch clause to our surrounding try. So we're just going to click that. Adds the input output exception. And then what we need to do is we need to uh, do our input stream dot read. With the parameters, we're going to give it our byte array. Looks kind of familiar to the last tutorial. We just read, except this time we aren't in a while loop. So yeah, that's fine. And we're also going to write it to our output stream. So we're going to say write. And we're going to write data. And then we just need to close both our input and our output stream. So just close and output stream close. And we're pretty much done. I mean, this is going to save a picture to one of our path files and to the specific location of our edit text. 